Hello, Module 2 of the lesson Amazing Energy Energy We have learned that we use energy to do work. So, we have all learned that energy is required to do work. Every day we do a number of things from the time we wake up and to the time we go to sleep. To do all these activities, we need energy. In the previous module, we have learned that work is defined as making an object move from one place to another. So, how do we define work? It is defined as making an object move from one place to another. Okay, energy is required to displace any object from one place to another. So, energy is required to do this. In order to do work, you need energy. The images that you can see below are representations of all the activities that need energy. So, in the first activity, you can see a girl who is playing with her dog. To do this, she needs energy because she is running about and she is doing work. In the next picture, you can see a little boy who is playing with his toys. To do this also, we need energy. Next, their friend is playing with the skipping rope. So all these activities require energy. Simple activities need less energy and hard work requires more energy. In this slide, you can see two people. One of them is carrying a very light school bag and the other one is carrying a very heavy box. Which of these two do you think needs more energy? Correct! Carrying heavy boxes would require more energy than carrying light school bags. This is because simple work means less energy and hard work means more energy. Now, let us look into the different forms of energy all around us. All these images that you see, that is, an aeroplane taking off, a car being driven on the road, and a boat sailing, require different forms of energy. Also, electrical appliances also function on various forms of energy. Let us see and understand about the various forms of energy in this module. In this image, you can see the activities that are happening on a day. You can see the sun, you can see the windmill that is turning, a train, a waterfall and a farmer who is working. Can you observe and point out the different forms of energy in this picture? I will help you out. So, as I pointed to you, sun will give out a form of energy. Also, rotating of a windmill depends on wind energy. Trains can run on coal energy and waterfalls also have stored energy. Doing work like the farmer is doing also requires energy. Let us learn about these energies one by one. We will start with muscular energy. Muscular energy is the energy that is released by chemical changes in the body. So, the food that you take in undergoes chemical changes and it gets converted to energy. This is known as muscular energy or energy of our body. Activities like walking, climbing, pulling, pushing, etc. need muscular energy. So the activities that you see here, walking, running, climbing the stairs and pushing something all require muscular energy. Okay, so the food you eat gets converted to muscular energy. Next, you have to identify any four activities that you do 
which require muscular energy. I have given you two examples. Playing cricket. Playing with your friends requires muscular energy. You may have noticed after playing for a long time, you will get tired. This is because you have spent your energy. Next, walking from school also requires energy. You need to think about two more examples and add them to this list. How do we maintain good energy? Muscular energy can be increased by proper food and regular exercises. So good food means good health. Okay, so if you eat good nutritious food, you will gain a lot of muscular energy and you will remain energetic throughout the day. In summary, we use energy to do work. We also learned that there are many forms of energy and we started learning about muscular energy. Muscular energy is needed for our daily activities. In the next module, we will be learning about mechanical energy.